Alright, Assalamualaikum again uh, and a very good evening. Hi, my name is Miss Noshalina Bentinodin. For those who are first time and uh, recently registered in my class, please subscribe to Miss Noshalina or Noshalina Nordin channel because I will upload um, all the video lecture um, starting from the chapter and topic one until the end, okay, for this semester. So after that, uh, I'm still uh, waiting for the registration to stop. Actually, yeah, on Sunday is the last registration. However, I still receive PM Tepi to ask the student um, to add, huh? we have still add and drop week, man. Okay, so until the class no more at and drop, I will start to uh, placing your email. Okay, email and also please put your email, full name, metric number and email in order to, uh, to enroll you all and invite you for the new platform. Okay, alright, don't worry so much because um, for consumer behavior, everything is already ready. Uh, I didn't say the another subject is not ready, but still have an and drop uh, at and drop a uh, student okay all right i'm quietly like a today because we have some of uh, event like a farewell for sir arif so um yeah just to share with you all uh, regards on that okay so without further ado uh, i will continue on the last class okay the last class we stop at the marketing concept whereby at the positioning okay so i will continue on the marketing mix okay so for your information student okay marketing mix we talking about how the process of the marketers use this process of a product price place and promotion in order to enhance okay their uh, marketing strategy okay so uh, for dba students okay i don't think you have this kind of problems okay when we're talking about uh, dmm okay also students you are also do should not have any problem regarding uh, this thing okay because when we're talking about product for peace right remember but i wish to add more okay because um we are not talking about four piece right now because four piece is a traditional marketing mix so we used to have also like a seven piece okay seven piece referring to instead of product price place and promotion we do also have people physical uh, evidence and also we have process and this kind of thing because uh, your friends is keep on uh yeah, entering uh, for the Zoom. Okay, so when we're talking about the product, okay, the product uh, uh, referring to the tangible product, okay, that they use in order to make sure, okay, that uh, the marketers able to advertise it uh, and make sure that the product is um, really make the customer uh, wants and needs to be fulfilled huh? but at the same time uh, we have to bear in mind when we're talking about product the product should be have a certain sort of the characteristic okay that been accepted well by the customer huh? all right and then when we're talking about the price okay price is uh, referring to the price of the product okay so let's say uh, we're talking about a product that have a reasonable price we're talking about um, the product have a very um, what to say um, some of the attractive or reasonable price making the customer to buy your product okay because we are talking about how does um, the the marketers able to lowering the price until the customer becomes sensitive towards your price but bear in mind uh, certain customer especially high-end customer they don't worry so much about the price because for them Number one is satisfaction to fulfill their demand. Huh? And the third one, we are talking about place. Okay. Nowadays, uh, brick and mortar, okay, or physical store is not been uh well versed been it's still been used, however, it's not still well versed uh, will be used due to uh, more on online uh, stores being used. Uh, for example, we're talking about uh, online uh, market or online business is already uh, bombarding and mushrooming around the world right now, right? So I think that 
um, the thing that make it more triggered uh, to to the betterment of the industry of online uh, due to this uh recently pandemic COVID nineteen. So that's why um places like uh physical stores is and I'm not saying that it's no more, but they still have, but. Uh, in terms of the uh, physical store, maybe number two options, okay, choice by the customer after online stores, okay. People nowadays, especially the customer, more attracted towards this online store, huh? because they have a lots of the cost that can be actually reduced due to this. And then we're talking about promotion, okay, we are talking about how does uh, the marketing mix, okay, uh, able to do some promotion, okay, uh, maybe I should highlight a little bit, okay, but you will learn more in this uh, subject under promotion. The first one, we have advertising or advertisement. When we're talking about uh, the promotion strategy, we are talking about uh, how does the promotion strategy as uh, advertisement able to attract the customer and as you can see advertisement is divided into two we have uh, above line advertisement and versus below line advertisement so above line advertisement is referring to the advertisement that they made using online okay uh, on using online in here means that they are advertisement that populous okay compared to uh, a below line advertisement below line advertisement is referring to the advertisement uh advertisement eh? Adversity, adversity, stop one answer. advertisement that been used in order to uh by using a certain like uh using paper okay because nowadays it's all about uh more on above line advertisement so that's why people are more go and attractive towards uh paperless or above line advertisement secondly uh we have uh instead of the promotion because under promotion if we have advertisement and then uh we have um public uh, relations and then we have personal selling and then we have sales promotion okay let us uh, we go to the sales promotion under sales promotion we have a uh, several of the manufacturer and supplier have a discounted price okay in terms of how they want to attract those the customer using the sales promotion uh, so this is during uh, Idu Adaha right uh, Eid Mubarak if you realize many stores especially online they keep on uh, doing their promotion by uh, promoting that their uh, products okay services have a selected of promotion to attract the customer maybe 50% maybe 70% or maybe 80% or 90% okay the reason because number one uh, in order to attract more because now uh, we are talking about the festival is around the corner so the customer start to find out uh, something like the things that uh, related to uh, their wear, related to their use, okay, during Hari Raya. And then the second one, uh, we also uh, realized, okay, uh, the third one is about uh, public relations, okay. I used to share, this is a common because I think that uh, your other lecturer, maybe from the marketing class, principle of marketing, also sharing the same thing too. I think like uh, my eyes is... Uh, getting smaller and smaller okay due to i do not know why but it's something like uh to say that uh okay uh when we're talking about sales promotion uh, sorry sorry public relation is divided into two okay number one we have um what we call uh, ambassador okay and then the second one we have spokesperson okay what is the difference between ambassador and spokesperson okay ambassador is uh, we call as duta product okay duta product meaning to say this person is a repre uh, been hired to representative of the company uh, meaning to say uh, they take some uh, portion of hired um, can I say they've been paid, okay? Mereka dibayar in order to to make some review on uh, certain product and also certain services. Whereby we have also under public relation is spokesperson. Spokesperson, example, um, they be used to select 
some of the internal person of the company in order to become representative of the company. Okay, example, I used to like Datuk Tony Fernandez may be holding a card like a uh, big smile card rewards. Okay, for those who the business traveler is using uh, something like uh, benefits, okay, or rewards card in order to promote, okay, in terms of their... Um, their product, okay, their services and whereby for the ambassador, okay, I used to share that uh, according to research from, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, from the Bloomberg saying that uh, the billionaire of the ambassador around the world is goes to uh, Tiger Wood, who is the golfer around the world that been representative of um, uh, of the any kinds of the uh, sports uh -huh, activity uh, that we used to use the Tiger Woods as a, a part of the ambassador and then the 10 rank is goes to Cristiano Ronaldo the footballer who are the almost also uh, the richest of the uh, ambassador around the world so it's shown that okay that um Mostly, why the reason of the marketers is using um, uh, this kind of celebrity or icon, public uh, sport icon, because why? Because this kind of person have a strong influencer, uh, mempunyai pengaruh yang besar ataupun mempunyai pengaruh yang kuat in order to attract those the customer to buy the product. And another way around also, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo been chose as a Shopee. Shopee ambassador, okay, and he also spoke only a few words. Can you imagine how much Shopee is paying for them? So if we realize uh, the footballer and the shopping uh, platform as the Shopee is not so strong or not significant, but they use this because why? Because of their strong influencer uh, ataupun mempunyai pengaruh yang besar, okay, in order to attract them to buy and uh, to shop more okay all right and then we moving on to i heard some of the mic still unmute okay so please make sure that your mic is mute huh? okay uh, because the 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 audio is like echo here okay when you have uh still voice there okay all right so we're moving to 1.3 okay uh subtopic which is referring to the customer value satisfaction trust and also retention okay so we have uh the four tips okay why the reason in the relationship or we have to be strong okay what i'm trying to say in here uh, when we're talking about the successful relationship, we are talking about the relationship between the suppliers, okay, towards the customer and the buyer and also the seller. Okay, number one, we have the customer value, okay. So, what have in the customer value? Okay, the first one is defined as the ratio between the customer perceived benefits and also resources used to obtain okay those benefits okay so it's perceived the value is a relative and subjective and it have developing a value proposition is critical so it's uh, stated here when we're talking about the value i like to share with you all that um in the kinds of the customer value we have a certain of the value added when you buy something kita mempunyai nilai tambahan ataupun tambahan nilai dalam kita membeli ataupun uh, membeli satu produk okay so uh, example if you buy like medication or you buy something like the product in order to make sure that you feel something uh, refresh you feel uh, not so tired and exhausted so um, of course, this kind of medication might be used as part of your benefits for your healthy and maybe uh, let's say very simple you buying something you have and something headache okay and you buy something like paracetamol okay in order to make sure that it can be reducing your headache uh, so that is also one of the benefits when the customer feel that when you they purchase the product or services they have the added value huh? and the second one uh, in term perceived value is related 
relative and subjective. So when we're talking about the value is relative and subjective, we're referring to uh, something like maybe my uh, customer value added or customer satisfaction, my satisfaction value quite uh, different from you. So uh, we cannot say that every single customer have the same, okay? I'm so sorry student because my eyes keep on very, very small, 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 mashallah. Okay, so we move to the third one, developing a value proposition is critical because when we're talking about value proposition, we are talking about how does um, the proposition, proposition something like this, how you want to make sure that where is your product is belong to and where it been situated where it can be put into the mind and heart of the customer so that's why in order to rebuild this kind of value proposition is not a very simple task to do okay so they have to make sure that they have a very strong image okay brand name and also trademark huh? okay and then um the the second one we're talking about the customer satisfaction okay uh what is satis customer satisfaction tahap kepuasan kepuas hatian pelanggan okay so that's why every single uh, or for example you go to mall you go to any kind of manufacturer or retailer there must be have uh, that we call department crm customer relationship management unit in order to track okay whereby the customer have some value satisfaction towards your product and services especially when in the kind of the services because services is something like intangible and it can't be seen so when what the best thing in order to measure the value of the these services is by measuring the satisfaction especially the quality and the satisfaction of the customer and then the second one we are talking about um, the customer group okay the individual perceptions of the performance of the product or service in relation to his or her expectation so the customer group based on the loyalty include loyalists apostles defectors terrorists hostage and missionary so for those who are buying my manual okay please uh, check out uh, in the Topic one, long notes, they have every singles of these loyalists, apostle, defectors, terrorists, hostage, and missionaries definition. And this is actually to enhance your understanding more on this topic one. Okay, and then we're moving to the customer trust. Okay, what's mean customer trust? Customer trust is referring to how does the customer is believe on you? Okay, how does the customer have some trustworthy towards you? Okay? Okay, so um, we are talking about establishing and maintaining trust is, is very essential. It's true and I agree and, uh, towards this statement because if we do not have the kind of trustworthy between the products, okay, between the, the, man, the supplier, okay, the producer, the products towards you, how does you want to maintain the long relationship and how want you want to actually um, undergo with the kinds of long-term relationship or customer relationship management. So the second one, trust is the foundation for maintaining a long-standing relationship with the customer. So I believe when there is the existence of CRM in a kind of the company, number one goal is to make sure that uh, they have a very um, a foundation because um, foundation in here, we are not talking about you must have something like yayasa. No. Foundation in here something like a pillar. Pillar ni ibaratnya macam is like tiang. Okay. In order to build the trust, you have to maintain the long-standing relationship with the customer. So who by group, number one, you must trust the, your, your products and the customer must have this kind of trust towards the supplier so if not the customer would forever not trusting you especially when it come to the services you promise them the guarantee the product will delivered by tomorrow and after all all one day second day third day they are waiting for your parcel and the parcel is not delivered to you well as been promised so you are breaching the promise towards them do you like the people when they are broken and they have a broke your promise with you 
CEO of course not right so the same thing too to us when the company or the producer seller okay make some promise towards you to deliver product towards you to deliver the services towards you and all sudden they not meet their promise after all we feel frustrated we feel angry but she was so angry but we feel something like dissatisfaction and all sudden uh, they start to just with one click they can viral a seconds about your your company so that's why when you involve in the kinds of the business okay you give some services to your customer number one rule make sure you have make them trust you the trust have to be developed the trust has to be made and to make sure the trust have the long-term relationship that's why we need the trustworthy we need something like confidence towards this supplier okay all right now we're moving to the last one customer retention so customer retention is referring to the objective of providing value is to retain highly satisfied customers so they say in here there is a few of the loyal customers okay number one they are buy more products okay this is the characteristic on how we want to seek into who is our loyal customer number one they have very very uh, loyal towards your product so they buy your products eh? and then the second one they are less price sensitive even though the manufacturer or the supplier mark up the price to maybe 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 70% or 80%, they don't even bother. Okay, why I said so? Because we are talking about the loyalist. Okay, kita tunjukkan kesetiaan. <laughs> gitu. Kesetiaan dan ketaatan kita pada produk tersebut. Okay, so they would have bothered about the less price sensitive. Okay, even though you mark out how much you want, we still stick with your price because the price make them satisfied with what they want. And then the third one, servicing them is a cheaper because why? Because the customer and the marketers don't need to do very extensive they don't need to be very excessive to do their marketing okay due to that they will be servicing more cheaper and cheaper okay and you don't need to do like above line advertising below line advertising due to the the price and the last one they spread the positive words of mouth so from from why mouth from mouth to mouth, from one to one, okay, they have a term we call as uh, words to mouth, okay, bukan membawang, it's not onion mouth, okay, but we are talking about um, how does uh, the people is giving something like positive testimony and then one people will be listened to that testimony, it's not easy, but we can actually uh, build them, okay, we can actually make a good rapport on them, well, uh, first the idea have what you have to do is make sure um, the criteria the best criteria is um, giving a good services and product okay if you give good product and services to your customer of course the customer will be honest to you and what I'm trying to say in here okay um, when we are selling the product right okay number one of course we want to make sure that the people is giving the honest testimony okay god give us something like a uh, honest uh, review towards your product it's not because you are my friend i'm helping you doing the review no because for me if you asking for your friends to give something or not, only a good review you can't actually improvise your product when your friends giving something feedback something like negative feedback or maybe how to improvise okay more so this is the way other round in order to make sure that the the it can be accepted okay it can be accepted and then the people will know oh this is the good things about this product before this maybe the product is a very poor in terms of their image or in terms of their services but after all they get some feedback maybe like i can say that complaints okay but for me when the complaints receive and then we get uh, sorry we got the complaint uh, constructive complaints and we managed to actually improvise our product 
that is much 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 better okay so there is nothing wrong if people said why this product keep on having negative comments so we do not know from the negative comment they can improvise this become better and better okay all right so we're moving to the next one this is a top 10 ranked us company in terms of the consumer trust and respect of privacy so we have top 10 companies american express ebay ibm amazon johnson and johnson hello packets or oh, hello packets huh? hp us postal services procter and gamble apple and nationwide maybe i should list it to you all from one to ten in here or are US or American companies, okay, what they are did, okay, maybe number one, American Express is involving banking sector, the second one, eBay, this is about shopping platform, okay, IBM is referring to the technology industry, Amazon, we are talking about online books producer, Johnson & Johnson is pharmaceutical industry, Hewlett Packets, it is actually technology and uh gadget okay industry us postal service is talking about delivery industry okay postal uh services Procter and gamble this is involving something like uh industry involving consumer goods okay apple okay this is about uh okay the running out of time okay they said it's more 10 minutes more so i have until 321 to finish my lecture as i told you because i'm not using the premium version i'm using the free version one so i only have 40 minutes to do my live lecture and the last one we have apple apple is technology industry and nationwide is the postal service uh, company okay so um this is actually the customer profitability focus marketing track cost and revenue of individual consumer we categorize them into the tires based on the consumption behavior so we have a customer pyramid group customer into four tires we have platinum gold iron and lead if you realize this uh pyramid is exactly like a uh, what we call maybe example regards to the credit cards okay so the platinum is used to the customer who have a very high uh, what we call um, high uh, income earners okay and the second one may be moderately it's a goal and then iron for the model uh, middle income earners okay and then the fourth one we have the lead okay <laughs> and the lead we have the lower income earners okay so um, this is how they used to have in terms of their uh, what we call uh, categorize okay why the reason they give you something like Saber, oh, okay, thank you. Okay, so we have um, like these stages in order to make sure every single of these stages have the difference of revenue in terms of their income, okay? So mostly banking sector, they wish to give uh, the categorize of this customer according to their income. Not everyone afford or uh, what we call uh, deserve, okay, to get a platinum go on uh, platinum card not all customer deserve to get gold card not all the customer be in the iron card okay and then not all the customer in the lead card so it based on the group customer into four tires huh? all right so we're moving to the marketing ethics and the social responsibility so as been stated here okay a marketer should be in the able to satisfy the needs and wants of their target markets in the ways that preserve and enhance the well-being of the consumer and society as a whole while fulfilling the objective of the organization so they have example here regarding a broken make pro uh, make by make promise of the mcdonald because this sponsor of this advertisement criticizing the mcdonald and what business concept did mcdonald ignore by using transfer so the effect using the transfer is uh, been shown that mcdonald ignore the consumer interest and the societal marketing concept so they're ignoring the uh the part of the healthy and safe of the safety and health of the customer by using 
the trans fat in order to do their patty products for their burger. Huh? Alright, so we moving to the last one. Uh, we are talking about the consumer behavior is interdisciplinary. So under the consumer behavior, as I mentioned in the first class, under our uh, introduction class, regards to the consumer, uh, sorry, con, um, CI, okay, cost information of consumer behavior. So it's been stated that in consumer behavior, we have psychology, sociology, we have social psychology, anthropology, and economics. So for those who have the manual, again, I repeat, you have uh, actually interrelated and you see the circle here, uh, keep on combining. Uh, this is to show to you that uh, the consumer behavior we learn about sociology we learn about psychology mostly psychology terms and then we have economics uh, anthropology and also social psychology and the last one uh, we are talking about uh, the simple model of consumer decision making and you can see uh, we have input this is the external influences we have the full marketing effort product promotion price and also place or we call as channel of distribution and then socio-cultural environment family reference group non-commercial sources and then we have social class and a culture and subculture and then we have process consumer decision making need recognition pre-purchase search uh, this we will go more uh, after this because they have another more chapter if I'm not mistaken consumer decision making under topic 12 we will learn more deeper on this because this is just uh, the surface uh. and then we have the psychological field we have motivation and uh, this one we learn in topic 2, 3, 4, 5 and onwards yeah? learning personality and attitudes and then they have also uh, uh, process okay post uh, decision um, behavior okay output under purchase we have the trial repeat purchase post purchase evaluation and goes with the experience okay did you know social media recommendation and consumer behavior so they stated this is all the resources of um, the consumer behavior okay so the conclusion we made in here, we have to make sure to be out of the box, meaning to say we have to think something, not just a common thinking. We have to challenge ourselves to think more. Okay, uh, I like to use the word local. Uh, think global but maintaining local. Okay, so I think that this is no for now for our lecture, second uh, live lecture. So I wish you um, happy holiday for Salam Idul Adha and yeah stay safe stay healthy keep sanitizing washing your hand twice a day twice a day washing your hand by singing a song birthday twice and make sure social distancing don't use your mask under this cheek uh, okay so um i'm done okay so any question, please shoot in our group WhatsApp. Don't PM to be missed because I want everybody want to know what you not understand in this topic. Okay, take care. Don't forget, please subscribe my channel, <laughs> Nushalina Norden, uh, for more details. Assalamualaikum. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Mayden. All right. Thank you, Mayden. All right, welcome. Thank you, Mayden. Hi, you. Thank you, Mayden. <laughs> welcome.